श्रीमती रमा जैन वहां the uncountable special marvel of the world each and every creation that which is having the sense of survival long with survival that is incessantly engaged in the process of first it survival sustenance in survival identifying the obstacles and working against those obstacles and to ensure that it is an uninterrupted survival and the advanced species like human beings we are interested in prosperity charity liberation these are all something which is exclusively meant for the higher species of god's creation based on the biological instincts of security self governance other things all living beings except human beings they are just sojourn in the world and human beings they have three more extension one is the intellectual extension second is the spiritual extension and third is mental extension but advanced the psychic extension is compared with the other beings the mind with more vigilance and caution that tempts the intellect in its maturity to get into innovative desire and inventions and discoveries for self comfort and development and the intellectual development in its maturity it tempts the spiritual urge to get into contemplative process are getting into celestial invocation are getting into the most sophisticated and saturated process of surrender to the ultimate so one is the intellectual expansion known as science second is the spiritual semi spiritual extension which is known as contemplation or upasana and which is the super spiritual extension which is known as surrender or liberation these are the special extensions for human beings and whenever we see this type of orders in the society each and everything has a shape a defined shape a defined structure a defined function so everything is made with an intelligent basis just as now the modern evolution physicians as well as the modern evolution scientists they unanimously claim that the universe is made by an intelligent design but still we are seeing a lot of abnormality confusion chaos and various other things which is said to be a functional disorder so what we have to know is is everything orderly made is it a casual thing is it an accidental evolution is it a coincidental evolution or lot of other things are like like casualism accidentalism pantheism existentialism the innumerable schools of philosophy came into emergence when trying to know about the fundamental that is the teleological and ontological base of the universe then we have three questions one is there any order i any person or principle which has made the order and governing the same number 2 if there is an order it but have a proper arithmetic progression a systematic way for example if we say 2 4 6 dot dot 10 then the thing left is 8 so there is an arithmetic progression in which if a few factors either factors of origination or factors of destination or the factors of the orderly placement if few concepts are understood the rest can be calculated or inferred if there is an universal order certainly it should possess a sequence or equation and that equation should possess some sort of given information as well as leftovers provided if a person could get the available information by means of science or an intuitive spirit the person must be able to infer the other things so is there any order is it made by somebody inferred or intuitively wished can it be amended or can it be adjusted adjustment is you are surrendered to that amendment is bringing that flexibility for your own concern and desire so whether we have to adjust to that or that can be made amenable to that these three things are the main basic backbones of the science known as destinal mathematics so fortunes is a science of fortunal mechanics and which is always we always we are interested in fortune because each and everybody irrespective of their special nature irrespective of their utility to the society or even to their one family they are all totally engrossed in the process of getting only benefits not malefits likewise the industrial mathematics deals with the three major principle primordial factors of the world then we say that everything is in order 
and even if there is a disorder, there is an order in being, it's a disorder. So the disorderly nature of the world are so-called cleavages, disparities, aberrations, deviations or malfunctions of either the human race or a composite considerable contribution of uh, the era, the Esther eras and the participants of the Esther era, whatever it may be, everything has its own order and specification. Can it be reinstalled? Can everything be put into its own axis in orbit so that the world goes to normalcy, normality, divinity, eternity, eternity resulting in harmony and prosperity? This is uh, the so-called endeavor of the spiritual people, scientists, emancipators of worldly desires as well as sufferings, all these people, great personalities, have been unanimously federated only in this process of reinstalling the glory, reinstalling the greatness and the splendor of the universal order or cosmic discipline. So, destinal mathematics is the basic science which deals with there is an order in spite of irregularities. Number two, there is a person who is making that. The person is sentient, the person is merciful, the person is calculus, the person is vigilant. He is beyond the control of everybody and being in a sovereign status, he controls everything. That is the second rule. Then the third rule, yes, there are possibilities of attunement of our own self to the cosmic discipline and there are also some flexible areas where it can be brought to our surface by means of a gracious shower of the tall which is governing everything. So these things are the basic answers for the basic questions which lies in the terrestrial mathematics. Then starting with the scientific study of all of these things, certainly it must have a scientific study, it must be a Vidya. What is Vidya? Vidya deals with cause, its fundamentals, its derivatives, its explanatory areas, multidimensional approach, tools for apprehension, tools for practice, then practical systems, then getting the benefits. It is known as Vidya or science or technology. Certainly it must have, starting from the principles, it must have tools for rectification. Then it must have practical methodologies, not only mere ideology or theosophy or philosophy, it must have practical mentioning also. So that is known as Vidya. Whether there is a possibility for Vidya or not, that is the greatest thing. Yes, certainly we can do that. By means of our limited knowledge, we have some instinctive skills known as calculation, vigilance, observation, distinguishing, comparison. All of these skills are there within human beings. They are instinctive. There are three types of organizations. One is intuitive organization, instinctive organization and institutional organizations. Instinctive organization is organizing a power person's basic power of acumen, prudence, sagacity, sharp vision, observation and various other multifarious consequential instincts are there. Everything will come under instinctive governance. Then the second thing is organizing a person's intuition. If you can see something which you have already seen and you can tell, that is known as foretelling. And if uh, factors which are very observable by our mundane senses, if we are capable of dealing something with future, that is known as forecasting. Something by means of a person's limited sources of knowledge by which limited explanatory notes can be given, that is prediction. By means of uh, various experiences, and subjection, if a person can bring down the sequential order of the future, it is known as prognostication. A person by means of a gifted, innate skill of knowing the future, crossing the barriers of the tri-dimensional universe in space and time, whatever he says, such a person is prophet and that skill is known as prophecy. A person by means of time immemorial penance, austerity and dedication to the spirituality and in the course of realization of that ultimate infinity, a person can do, he can cross jump and play within the times and its barriers, cross them, also make the surrenders and dependence to cross the same, to understand the mysteries, riddles, puzzles and wonders of the world and all the incidents as well as the inseparable, inviolable, unintelligible, unscrutable global network of incidental property and personal connections. That the thing can be evolved only by a person who is said to be clairvoyant. So these things are all the intuitive skills, starting from a weather forecasting foretelling, prediction, prognostication, ending with the prophecy and the great clairvoyance, trikala jnana, we used to say in Shastras. So these things are the intuitive. Then these things are not institutional. What is institutional? It must have a vidya. Vidya means it must have Shastra, Guru, Parampara, Adhyayana, Shikshana, Abhyasa, Karana, Arkriya. It is known as Parampara institution. As we are